There's a canary in the library by Don Freeman. Quiet. There's a canary in the library. Every Saturday morning, a girl named Carrie went to the library. Before selecting a book, Carrie always had a chat with Mrs. Curtis, the librarian. One Saturday morning, she sat down at a small round table between two boys and began looking at a book about the zoo. After a while, Car Carrie slowly closed her book and started talking silently to herself. If I were a librarian, I know what I would do, she said. I would have a special day when only animals and birds would be allowed to come in and browse. First, I'll hang this banner outside. Then I'll sit here behind my desk and wait. Welcome to my library, Canary. How very nice of you to come so early. And, oh, Lion, I'm so glad you've dropped by. I'm sure you know the rules. No roaring indoors. Do come in, Bear. There are many books about bears. I know you'll enjoy pawing through. Here are a few. I'm so sorry about the door, Elephant. Please let me help you. You'll need more than four chairs and a table of your own. I want you to be perfectly comfortable. I'm very proud to see you, Peacock. I was hoping you'd come today. To tell you the truth, Turtle, I didn't hear you come in, but what a lovely surprise. Do make yourself at home. Oh, my, gira a giraffe. I hadn't planned on you popping in so soon. You'll find some tall tails up there on the top shelf. Do help yourself. A porcupine, how divine. Just see that you don't get too close to Lion. They say he's very ticklish. Gracious me, I didn't even expect a whole family of monkeys. Now promise me you'll try to behave. This is a library, not a zoo, you know. If I let a horse come in, I suppose I'll allow a cow to come in, too. Now is it this wonderful? Everyone loves my library. They're all being as quiet as mice. Mice! Oh, horrors! They should have shut the door! The racing of the elephant's drunk, and now they frightened my canary. Oh dear, I told that porcupine not to get too near the lion. Please, bear, you must treat those books with care. I've never heard such a rumpus. The lion is roaring, the bear is growling, the cow is mooing, the peacock screeching. So it'll be like, rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh, Canary, what will we do now? How do I ever get them to leave? Oh, thank you, Canary. Listen, everyone, the Canary is singing. I do believe she's telling them it's time to go. Goodbye, everyone. I do hope you've enjoyed yourselves. But remember, as you leave, try to be very quiet. Who, me? said one of the boys at the table. I wasn't making any noise. When Carrie realized she had spoken out loud, she was terribly embarrassed. After a few minutes, she went over to the bookshelf and chose another book to take home. I hope you will enjoy this bird story, said Mrs. Curtis cheerfully. Oh, I know I shall, whispered Carrie. Canaries are among my very truest friends. And out the door she flew. The end.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of Quiet, There is a Canary in the Library. I thought this was just such a cute little book. And I just want to say, I am still, I have a slight bit of laryngitis, so I apologize if my voice is still trying to get over this wretched, wretched laryngitis. But anyway, I love y'all so much, and I will talk to y'all later, and I hope you enjoy this story. I love you. Bye.